Okay, comp operators in touch designer. They really take your project and bring it to life. Let's get started without even explaining this just so you can see exactly what this does. So basically all you need to know about comp operators is that we use a camera, a light, and geometry to render something in touch designer. So let's do that right now. Let's double click on the empty grid area in touch designer. And then let's just make sure we're on the comp category. And from the comp category, we just want to click on camera. So click on camera and then drop the camera somewhere in the touch designer grid area. Now let's double click on the empty canvas area one more time to open that op create dialog. And this time from the comp category, let's go ahead and click on light. So we're just going to click on light and drop that light somewhere to the right of our camera. Now let's zoom out. I'm going to double click on the empty grid area one more time. And this time we're going to click on the SOP category. So click on SOP and then from SOP, let's go ahead and click on sphere. So just click on sphere and drop sphere somewhere in the empty grid area. Let's drop this below our camera. So we have a cam, a light and a sphere. Now let's keep going without losing momentum here. So I'm going to zoom out. And what we're gonna do, I'm actually gonna bump this sphere over a little bit to the left. Okay, now that we have our camera, our light, and our sphere, let's go ahead and right click on the output area of our sphere. So just right click on those two blue squares on the output of sphere, right click. And then what we wanna do is go to the comp category. And when we're in the comp category, just click on geometry. So click on geometry and then just drop the geometry somewhere to the right of sphere and below the camera. And as soon as we place that geo, you can see that there's a line connecting from sphere to geo. And you can see that our sphere appears in the cam operator. That's because our camera is observing our geometry. So now let's complete this example. Let's go ahead and double click on the empty grid area one more time to open the OP create dialog. And from the OP create dialog, we're just gonna click on the top category. From the top category, we're just gonna click on render. So go ahead and click on render, place that somewhere below the light and to the right of geo. So immediately when we place that render operator, it automatically took the light, the camera, and our geometry, and it gathered those components into this render operator. So just to quickly explain what's going on here, we have a sphere that's creating a shape, then our sphere is feeding into the geometry operator, which is preparing our shape. And then we have a camera that is actually observing our geometry. Then we have a light that's shining light onto our geometry. And last but not least, we have a render operator that's bringing all this stuff together to render something in Touch Designer. And what we can do now with that render operator is click on this little display button in the bottom right corner of the render operator. So click on that display button and that will display our rendered image in the background of Touch Designer. So that's one of the most essential Touch Designer setups is this render setup here. And I like to call it the GCL setup because it's geometry, camera, and light. We need these three operators in order to render an SOP or surface operator, which is this sphere in this example, but it could also be a box or it could be a circle. So anyway, that's what I call the GCL setup in Touch Designer. So geometry, camera, and light. Finally, our render operator to bring those three together. So once you know this setup, your Touch Designer projects should be quite a bit easier because you know that once you have this setup, you can just create whatever objects from SOPs you want, such as spheres, boxes, circles, whatever, and then feed them into a geometry, have this camera and this light, and then you can render all that stuff using the render operator. And then after you render stuff, you could right click on the output of this render operator here. And once you right click on that output, you could add anything you want from the top category. For example, you could add a blur operator after this render operator. And then we could change some of these settings on this blur operator, and it would just make our rendered image blurry. So this is just an example of how you could add stuff after the render to modify your output image. So once again, this is just a basic setup that utilizes the comp operators in Touch Designer. 
So we added something after our render operator, and we could also add something before our sphere or in between the sphere and the geometry. Let's do a quick example of that right now. So what I'm gonna do is just move this sphere operator over to the left so that we can put something in between the sphere and the geometry. So let's just hover over that line that connects from sphere to geometry. That line turns yellow, and then we're gonna right click the mouse and then click on insert operator. And now with the SOP category selected, what I'm gonna do is just click on the copy operator. So if we look right here, there's copy. Let's click on that and then place that in between sphere and geo. Okay, so we placed our copy operator, but if we zoom out, we will see that there is still only one sphere. And that's because the default parameters for the copy operator say that the number of copies is one. So what we wanna do is change this number of copies parameter to two, let's go ahead and bump that up to two. It looks like we still only have one sphere, but we have two spheres, they're just in the same exact place. So once again, we're gonna modify the parameters of this copy operator. We're gonna to go to the translate parameter, and let's just bump up the X value of this translate parameter to about zero point something, or maybe just one. We'll bump that up to one. And now, if we look in the output of Touch Designer, now we have two spheres. So there are our two spheres. And once again, I'm just showing you that so that you can see that you can add as much stuff as you want before that geo operator in order to create shapes. And don't forget that after the render operator, we can add as many tops as we want to modify the rendered output. So if we zoom out a little bit, we can see this basic structure that we have where we're creating a sphere, doing something to that shape, um, feeding that into a geo operator that's preparing our shape. And then our camera is looking at our geo, and then our light is shining light onto our geo. And finally, our render operator is taking our geometry, camera, and light, and feeding them all into the render operator to render an image. And then finally, we modified our rendered image using a blur operator. So I hope this setup is useful for you. It was very useful for me in learning Touch Designer. Okay, last but not least, I just wanted to show you that you can experiment with snippets in Touch Designer. And what I mean by that is if you click on the Help menu of Touch Designer and then click on Operator Snippets, then we see this window open up here. And what you can do is just select a category such as Comps. So I'm gonna click on Comps. And then you can just click on any of these in this list such as camera, or you can click on geometry and you will see an example of how to use the geometry operator. So this snippets area just gives us some examples of how to use some of the operators in Touch Designer. And if we scroll down a little bit, here's a description of this operator. And just a quick side note about the snippets in Touch Designer, some of these snippets have bugs that will crash Touch Designer. So make sure you save your projects before you mess around with, with snippets so that you don't lose your work. Okay, so here is our basic example for our GCLR setup. I hope you found that useful. If you did, give this video a like and make sure you're subscribed. Anyway, have fun. That's the most important thing with Touch Designer. Have fun and be creative.